Welcome back to Blue Collar's Whiskey Taste Buds YouTube channel. We're here for the second installment of the Kensington Wine Market 2020 Whiskey Calendar. Um, the first one I did was days one through five, and this will be days six through ten. Uh, yeah, so this one um, got off to a bit of a slow start for me, this uh, five-day stretch, but um, kind of finished strong. So, uh, <clears throat> And there's also a bit of a theme with some of these whiskeys as well. Let's see if you guys can figure that one out. <clears throat> so day six was uh, Connemara Peated Irish Whiskey. Uh, Connemara is actually a really nice peated Irish whiskey. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's double distilled like a lot of single malt Scotch whiskeys are, uh, whereas most Irish whiskeys are triple distilled. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a nice little peated whiskey. Um, I was sort of perusing their website earlier today and saw that they, they actually make a cast strength version of it, and I would love to get my hands on one uh, and try a cast strength version. They water this one down to 40%, and I feel like it, it does drink like a watered down whiskey um so yeah i'd like to try something a little bit higher abv on this uh in this particular dram um <clears throat> this one is made by kilbegan distillery uh which is owned by beam centauri day number seven was uh, a whiskey that i quite enjoy um <clears throat> uh Aberfeldy 12 year old um, beautiful honey bomb of a, of a dram. I really enjoy it. Nice, smooth, easy drinking whiskey. Has some nice sherry fruit notes in there and some nuts. Um, I've sampled the Aberfeldy 21 before as well. Um, also great whiskey. But again, another one that's watered down to 40%. And uh, probably most definitely has color added to it as well. So again, I would love to try... A cast strength version of this or even just like a slightly higher ABV of it <coughs> um, but solid whiskey this is one of those ones that a lot of people would consider to be like a daily drinker where they could just um, have this as a go-to whiskey <coughs> day number eight was the red wax makers mark Kentucky bourbon <coughs> Yeah, even the little sample bottle has some awesome red wax dipped uh, or drizzled all over the lid, which is pretty cool, even though it's a twist off. But um, yeah, Maker's Mark. <clears throat> As you guys know, I'm not a huge bourbon fan. There's not a lot of bourbons out there that I enjoy, but this is actually one of them. I do quite enjoy a Maker's Mark. Um, I went to a Beam Centauri <laughs> whiskey tasting once, and oh, maybe this isn't Beam Centauri. Uh, I could be wrong there. Um, anyway, I went to a tasting where they had Maker's Mark whiskeys and um, I had Maker's 47, I think it's called, uh, where they actually put some French oak staves in the casks and uh, it was delicious. It was fantastic. Um, so yeah, don't write off all bourbons. This is one of the few, if if not the only, that actually spells whiskey without the E as well. And sort of paying homage to their Scottish roots. <clears throat> uh, so day number nine is where it starts to get interesting for me. <clears throat> uh, day number nine was one that I haven't tried before. And that was a Balblair 97. Uh, delicious dram. Uh, beautiful uh, ex-bourbon honey. Um, vanillas that kind of stuff uh, quite enjoyed this dram I even had some sort of uh, tasting notes while I was sitting in my hot tub relaxing uh, come through my head of coffee and milk chocolate um, which were great notes that I really enjoy in a whiskey um, yeah so this one was uh, sort of out in front if you will for the for the second stretch of whiskeys for the calendar for me. Uh, and then today <clears throat> I opened up door number 10 and found myself a Laphroaig 10 year old. And that kind of stole the show for me. Um, without even having to go through nosing and tasting it because I've 
usually got it on my shelf. You can see there's a big, there's a gap here right beside the quarter <laughs> cask. That's usually where my Leforoy 10 goes, but I recently killed it. Uh, also owned another one owned by Beam Centauri. <clears throat> and there it is in the Kensington Wine Market Advent Calendar Glencairn. Made sure it wasn't in the dishwasher this time. Um, and yeah, this is one of those classic Isla whiskeys. Um, iodine, seaweed, heavy peat smoke. And this one actually, although it is bottled at 43% ABV, um, this one can actually take a little bit of water too, and it opens up a whole bunch of other uh, um, scents on the nose, a whole bunch of other characteristics in this whiskey. It's a super complex whiskey. And that's why I enjoy it and why I always have it on my shelf. The Freud was also one of the first whiskeys I ever tried seriously and the guy who uh, gave it to me thought I would be totally disgusted and spit it out and never drink scotch again and he was completely wrong I believe I paired maybe it was quarter cask but it was Laphroaig with a fresh homemade blueberry pie and french vanilla ice cream you must try it if you haven't and then of course my mom makes a wonderful Lafroy quarter cask whiskey fudge, which is becoming pretty uh, pretty well known around these parts. Mm. Yeah, everything that is everything that is Isla, um, right there in a glass. <clears throat> so those were the five for uh, days six through 10 in this calendar. And so far the calendar's been a lot of fun. It's showing a lot of variety, which is awesome. Um, like I said, I was a little concerned in the first few days of this stretch um, weren't, you know, they were kind of meh, sort of so-so whiskeys. Um, but then the, the Val Blair was a really nice surprise. And and then the Lafroy town on, on a, at the end of a hard day like today for me was superb. And so for that, I am going to pick Lafroy 10 as my favorite out of these five. And so it's going to go up over here next to the canvas, which was a favorite from the first five uh, for me. And then at the end, I'm going to pick the favorite of the favorites. So not so far. Those are the two. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, I'm getting lots of views, so that's a good sign. And uh, yeah, looking forward to doing the Blue Collar and Scholar Whiskey Club 12 Drams of Christmas coming up starting on December 14th as well. Um, and I'll be doing videos of those as well. It should be a lot of fun. Until then, happy Christmas shopping and stay safe. Cheers.